events, man. So cool. Let's go do the trail base mission. Bro, I've got so much stuff to do. Hey, hey. What's up? Oh, we're, get, we're gonna travel. We're gonna go to the Astral Express. It's an express meeting too. <laughs> you get it? Express meeting. Okay. I'm expecting some very good... What the hell? Okay, Hanya and Dr. Ray should be spamming me. I'm expecting some very good cutscenes, chat. To the next stop. Let's meet up with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pom not here yet. <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Ahem. Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. What is it? Yeah, what was so important? I thought everyone knew. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Panacone! I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel, but before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. First, Panacone is located in Astana. A star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different, so if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptom, you should take them seriously. Okay. Second, Penacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest, and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Okay. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. Rome? Uh, anyway... Third and final, rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire. Uh, allow me to, just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Penacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison. And it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Penacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penacone their permanent home. Butterfly, I think. Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina. Rosalina. Mechanic and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names either. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity, perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. 
Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double check your bags. Sure. I'll an announcement before There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Okay, why? You're the picture of calm, as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. I trust Penicone won't let you all down. But this is gonna be so cool. Family's invitation. I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Okay. How's it going? All packed and ready? Mm -hmm. There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is... <laughs> Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom-Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Yeah, okay, man. Where is March? Listen to the new newest interaster piece broadcast. Is he here? I don't think so. Oh, that is cool. Ah, I spoke to Mr. Yang. I'll be staying on the express this time. What? I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. Okay. Thank you. It's reassuring to know we're on a similar wavelength. Pay no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. I mean, this Once guy went through a lot up, on the, on the Xianzhou. I will naturally catch up with all He's of allowed to rest. Um, I... I didn't see what he said. Toiletries. Aw, drat! The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacone's Resort Hotel is pretty luxurious. Oh, that's Maybe us! Their toiletries should be just as fancy. <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. Mm hmm. What else should I bring? Oh, we can pick. Your pom pom toy. Pom pom toy? <laughs> Not a bad idea! Kinda like bringing the conductor on vacay with me. Uh, but I think it's too big to stuff in the case. Yeah, true. Aww, that toy. This is hard. What else should I take? Me, me, me. It's about time. Damn. I should find a seat. Oh, let's go. Here it comes, Shad. Here it comes. Penacuni. We're on the way. I'm excited, bro. Oh. The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one. What the hell? That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Not another one. Okay, run. Oh my god, oh my god. Come with me. She's so cool, bro. These questions have no meaning. But I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone. A dreamscape. Right this I moment, love you. You and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not. 
For very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. I'm done eating, chat. It is chat. an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. Okay, okay, full focus now. I love Akiran already. So, I love you. Come with me. I'll take you home. Bro, she's helping us. Isn't that nice? Left to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Oh my god, bro. Chad, this wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, I just haven't eaten all day. I'm so sorry. Okay. What is this? Why is it floating? Oh my god, it's so cool. I'm coming, Acheron. Bro, this is so cool, man. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You're awesome. You can call me whatever you want. Ridden me? Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. This is... No way. What? This way. Well, her voice is so deep. After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? Wait, what? Oh my impossible? god. Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? We're almost there. Can you still walk? Yep, I'm good. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, it's she watched the movie jokes. too. You're probably fine. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. Oh, Sunday, Sunday, up, up ahead. You saw that? Look, bro, she looks so Jesus. good. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? Chad, do not go for light cones. Go for characters only. You're gonna regret it, regret it if you go for light cones. In 2.0. Do you think you can just leave? She's so cute. I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice. I've already chosen. Oh, I didn't really, this is Sam, right? Oh, Sam and Silverwolf. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth. And they will naturally reciprocate. Oh, and Dr. Ratio and uh, Adventuring. Adventuring. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear Gamper. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Okay, he's a gambler. I guess we knew that from the, the drip. Bro, I love this outfit. This this quest is so cool already. Welcome to the reverie. That scared me. Experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I knew you loved me. You I knew that. You. Yes, I want to marry you too. Don't you be shy. It's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but go ahead. I wish to know. No, 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 no. It's okay. Have we met somewhere before? Yeah, at our wedding. We have we met. I don't know. You she's blushing. Memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. 
Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. She's got Kafka vibes. Kind of. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Bro. It's either one or last. Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Wait, I didn't... Bro... Yeah, that depends on the price. Oh, that one is good too. I would never want to live in a dream. It's three or four. This one is... Yeah, that, that one. Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception... I love her voice. Would, ask, would you still embark on this journey? I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought, through these you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original. So deep, so poetic. I would ask, do you still remember me? Oh my god. But from where? <laughs> I understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave That's so cool. entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. No problem. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. I'll uh, see you soon. And your Lycon. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me. But in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. Oh, her drip and marketing. Choice. Remember? It will reappear before you once more. The blood and all the... Oh. What you must do now 
is ponder its significance. She's so cool, man. And then you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. Bro, what? Bro, I got goosebumps all over my spine, man. What was that? And we're crying too. Bro, th this Acheron character, there's so much more than meets the eye, bro. I don't know what I clicked on. Yeah, we did have a nightmare. Bro, Acheron is gonna be so deep. It's not, it's not gonna be like, oh, I'm, I'm here, I'm like super, super pretty, super fun. It's just gonna be deep, her story. It's about loss, it feels like, in the past. Okay. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? It's gonna be crazy. Oh my god, I got goosebumps all over. I got the chills, man. <laughs> You're up? How's your prep going? Walton Himeko beat us to the punch. But I stuck around for you. Let's get going. Okay. Mm, I'm ready. Pony, the planet of festivities. The universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. It feels like Akira has been going through a lot. Like a lot of tragedy and loss. I don't know. And I hope Firefly is okay. Because she disappeared at the end of the trailer too. I don't know. Now we're here at last. Oh, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. <laughs> I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. That's funny. Uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Oh my god. Just look at this grand hotel lobby. It's it huge. Rows. They're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. Holy. I like the music. This is so cool, chat. It's actually so cool. Misha! Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> A white, white uh, eyelid. Checking in. Please head straight to the concierge. I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here. Something's not right. Should I'm coming. you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. Ah, so kind, so polite. Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. Check again, check again. From the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please check again for me. Check again. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. Yes, ma'am, of course. The Astral Express. You got that right. Four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and... And moi. Mr. Don Hung. Wait, what? These are the only four names on the reservation list. Don Hong. <laughs> I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for her status. Thank you, Himiko. I... Even if that is oh, come so, on. I'm afraid. Well, what is that? Architect's lance. Well, what? No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just. Well, it's just that right now we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Aventurine. Pentagoni's most important moment of. Every He's got a tattoo, bro. 
And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the They're going crazy with the eye designs. Look at that. Hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. So what am I supposed to do? Sleep Sorry on the floor? All the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble adventuring of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Dunmead. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. Hmm. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. Hmm. Okay. I've heard that the IPC has also received Pinaconi's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? This guy's not bothered at all. I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? It must be an inordinate number. Which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely can This guy, decide. along with that, that neck tattoo, reminds me of the movie with uh, Justin Timberlake, where they have um, the currency is their time. You, you know, I don't know the name of the movie, but you know what I'm talking about. It's like how much time they've got left to live. It's like a tattoo marked on their arm. You know what I mean? You know, th this guy has that vibe. And they gamble with the money with their time. Runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, yeah. but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? You can have some of Himeko's coffee, well, this is a maybe much worth getting into if i think about it just as we if i'm nice watchmaker why don't we make ourselves comfortable in pinaconi before getting to know each other more elaborately? oh my gosh she's flirting him down <laughs> sounds good she's seducing him but, miss navigator i must point miss navigator out. whoa if i do something about it now the time saved is from my own effort not a favor from you all But, what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Okay, he likes me. Going forward he on likes us. Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching? There you go, miss. Please allow her to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask you Mr. Sunday. Later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. I thought, su I thought Sunday was the sister. But initially. Ali, just a moment. Oh, here he is. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. Ah, oh, they're so cute. Look at them. The most handsome Robin, man. yeah, that's right. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. He said you were the most dashing person in Pentaconi. How interesting. What? I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but are you the the singer, Epsilon Superstar? If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? I know. 
never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh, she's got the wins. It really is Robin. To run into her in person here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penaconing like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penaconing is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time. She does have a singer's voice. The Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penaconing. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. <sighs> Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. VIP rooms. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. I hope it's not a trap. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak Nah, family it's not gonna be. And has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests. Bro, shut up! I want the rooms. Come on. Please rest assured that the family will personally. They've got like hundreds of thousands of rooms, bro. You saw that earlier. That we, as the actual administrators, oh. relieve you of any problems during your visit. Okay, Monsieur. Okay. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Penacony, the family stands ready to serve. Some of that soda that you got, the champagne. What was it called? I don't remember. The one in the trailer. The orange soda. Says <laughs> new. There's also the saying, from misfortune comes bliss. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. I love this quest. It's so good. Okay. Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This That's is okay. your dreamscape pass. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. Pretty good. At the same time, it is also Penacony's special. Oh my god! That belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock in feature. Wait to a second. Every moment of your wonderful dream. Save your favorite happy bits and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. That's awesome. Regarding the method of usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacony. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. Oh my god, I can't wait to see my room. We actually get this in our inventory. That is crazy. Oh my god. We have the confidence to prom promise that, thanks to the family's most meticulous management, only sweet nectar and melodious tunes await your head. What is this? Oh, I I've read this before. Golden hour? Is that at midnight? I don't remember. Renovations. Okay. Speaking of, it appears no one has asked you a certain question. What kind of trip do you enjoy? Uh, follow the passing currents. What? Oh, that one, obviously. What? Who stays inside the room, bro, when you travel? Your role might then clash with March 7th. 
Maybe you should reconsider your personal purpose and make yourself a woman that offers novelty as your work. Oh, shut up, bro. I want to travel. What do you mean? Oh, the stickers. Oh, I want Acheron sticker. I can put it anywhere. <laughs> oh, she's so cool. That's awesome, bro. This is awesome. This guy's cool too. Like that? That's cool. I like that. Achievement. Welcome to the Bubble Bridge. And you find yourself accompanied by someone unexpected. Acheron. I can't wait, bro. She's like months away. How... How can I wait that long? Well, in Penacony, you can use the shortcut button to open your Dreamscape Pass. While in other worlds, you will need to use the Dreamscape Pass item in your inventory. You can get stickers. Use your stickers to decorate your scrapbook. You may claim progress rewards. Okay. That is so cool. What's there, Jade? Holy. It, it was underneath my camera, I think. This is so cool. It's your room. Bro, this place is huge, man. Bro, look at that. Look at it. Is it just me or is this hotel too big for its own good? It's it's giganormous. It's gigantic. Bro, look at it. The what? Dr. Blues, what? Origami bird. Oh yeah, wait! It does have origami wings and a tail. Clocky. On the great tree. When you have helped them find the required number of origami birds, I'll give you rewards. Okay. A side quest? Public rest area. Wait, there's more? Oh my god. The IPC. Finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Yep. Let's take a nap. Well, how about a drink first? Penicone this the soul glad. Famous. Yeah. The orange Go one. On. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you Remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly unusual. The music it played Wait a second. off-key notes in the background. That's interesting. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, what does the that mean? Express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. A distress call method regularly used by the nameless. Ah. I can't be certain. Wait, it's Akira. She needs help. She's the one trapped here. From the execution itself, the or something like that. Or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling. She's that another nameless. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. 
He's gotta be. It's no wonder that IPC ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penaconi, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. Let him cook? In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top? She's being forced to. Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? Ah, uh, could be. It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a... We're not here to relax event. at all. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so I was <laughs> the only one kept in the dark then. Yep. Galactic baseballer. Time to get involved. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penicone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penicone mm -hmm. is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Yeah, let's enjoy our stay. Get some rest and prepare to enter the dreamscape. Oh, the shop. It's time. I guarantee my stories will satisfy your curiosity. Okay, stories for drinks. Classic Soul Glad. Yeah, thank you, sir. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Bro, this place is huge, man. Giovanna. Oh, she looks like a Dr. Ratio, kinda. Wish you a pleasant stay. If you require any assistance, please don't hesitate to approach me. I do need your assistance. What does the dream nurse do? Dream pool. The family offers the most secure authorized service. A blue-haired merchant has been selling a new type of affordable and reliable dreaming device. Blue hair? Who's got blue hair? The hounds are investigating. Who's got blue hair? Akiron's is purple. Misha? Is that blue? I'm not sure. Please feel assured. The family offers the most secure authorized service. Okay, so she's like a dream nurse. So you can enjoy your dreams, okay. That's- oh! <laughs> I found a chest too. That's so cool. This place is huge. I heard Marsh! Is this her room? Yeah, me neither. Bro, Robin. You know, it's weird. Welt noticed it too, about how Miss Robin's voice sounded somewhat weary. I can't quite put my finger on it. But it was different than usual. Could she be tired out from her cosmic concert tour? Insisting on performing under such circumstances. Miss Robin is a superstar among celebrities. Okay, number one fan. But nope, this event is a wild ride. The various factions deciphering the riddle, a power struggle of 
past legacies? It feels like we're in a live action detective saga. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll even witness classic scenarios. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Bro, it's kind of sad. I feel like Acheron is carrying a lot of pain. Yeah, that. I can't wait. Her, her story is going to make me cry. I went in Himiko like mommy and daddy. Odd. On every trailblaze quest. He's in my room. How fortuitous. You're in my room, what do you mean? We meet again. Yeah, because you're in my room. It's my room. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. Ah. This may be your room now, but Half a system hour ago, it was still mine. But this guy is a lot more deceitful. I, I thought he would be a lot friendlier from the drip marketing. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky. He's room very mysterious. Number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well. If you touch Akiron, I'm gonna cut your fingers off. Yeah, be direct. Yeah, we're not scared. We're not intimidated oh, by I'm you. Not sure, I like that town. I do. What you gonna do about it? Penaconi's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives? It's like an owl, an owl phone into the reverie. Bro, you, we got invited here, man. Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? This guy's like a smug. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least. I don't this like this guy so far. Oh, bro, which one do we... Okay. Let's talk. No, I'll talk. I'll talk. Ah, cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. Bro, I love this quest so far. Put, my friend, I need your help. Ah, how the you turns have tabled. This, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. I feel like this character is going to be OP. It is gonna My be OP. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservations. Those eyes, though. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality. We do, so we do. Magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. Ah, oh, don't that persuade me like that. Power, you really don't wish to use it. Or you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Oh, uh, stay away from me, please. Miss Stellaron. Have I hit the nail on the head? How does he know? I don't want him to leave. I'm not I'm not intimidated yet. <laughs> Your acting's good. I like that. Yeah, it is. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it. Oh, a chest. <laughs> when the time is right. I will look for you again. Okay, sir. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. 
I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. Is that a... Are you threatening me? Yeah, get the fuck out now. Okay, it's too much. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. If you say so. Now, this is my room. It's no longer your room. Oh, so yes. please. I go, oh my god. Oh my god. This guy. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which oh, I'm good at this. is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your person. Oh, he's gonna cheat though. He's gonna cheat. And the <laughs> way you do things. He's gonna cheat. How do I do things? Ding, a chip is tossed into the air and in the blink of an eye he disappears. Left or right? Bro, I'm blindfolded. Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. Left. No? I didn't get your answer. Left, left. Oh, but that's no, fine. right, right. Right? right? Yeah, Friend. right. The game has already begun. Oh. Allow me to make you an offer. But this guy is badass. You can't refuse. I said right. No reason to choose otherwise. It's in my right hand. And no other choice. This guy's oh. evil. Oh. What are you doing in my room? Your room. <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. How is this guy gonna become our friend? He's like so oh, evil. I mean, he's that our. Was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. Okay. <sighs> Why haven't you left? Why do I have to? <laughs> Bruh. I come to the wrong room. Oh, this can't be. Before I said anything, I even made sure that I had the right room number. Do I have the wrong wing or even the wrong lock? <sighs> I'm sorry, this hotel is huge and the hallways all look the same. It's easy to get lost in here. Well, she sounds like us in a way, no? Anyway, as long as you're alright. I should return to my room too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? Oh! You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps. It repeats. Rude. But I wish to know, have we met somewhere? Bro. Yes. It was a dream. This is deep. I got chills again. I had a dream on my way here, and I think you were in it. it yeah, like we did meet. Yep, yep, this yep. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. Yeah, I knew that. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details. I don't think you can remember much there. from the dreams. And we didn't even Galaxy say our name. Acheron. This is what oh yeah, he me. did. She did tell us. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. We will. Not this is the second time. Reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. Yeah, he's evil. One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. Oh, that is deep. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. She's very wise, I, I feel like. I should know all this before making a choice. And she's giving me Kafka vibes. Goodbye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Oh, we're gonna meet again, I hope. Mm. Wait, what? Mm. What's Sorry, happening? Can you point me in the direction of the lobby? 
All these hallways. Ah, you like me. I knew I knew that. You love me. She thanks you again and again. Time to work the dream pool according to the dreamscape passes instructions. Oh, we got the sticker. We got the sticker. Oh, she's gonna be my main. She's gonna be my main. Oh, holy. The handbook won't just fade away. I don't like that guy. Put him in the background. I do not like that guy. Holy. Is that the max? It is the max. She's so cool. That looks good. No. Yeah, that looks good. Very good. 60%. What is this tutorial? Wait, what? Okay, apparently there was something new in there. Another stellar jade. Welcome to Pinaconi, honored guest. Wait, wasn't there a chest here? I'm pretty sure there was a chest here. Pinnacone, what just happened? Dream. The dream pool. The scent, the scent is sweet. Lie down. The icy liquid rises above your waist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear. You wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. I want to see how you're on. That's so cool. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Oh my god. Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. We're gonna have nightmares again. Yeah. Oh my god. The chest, can you see it? What is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that <laughs> handsome bust of yours? You're late. By four minutes and sixteen seconds. <laughs> Battle you of the egos. Of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. <laughs> You mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> oh, it that's like the eyes. This peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Uh, where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some <laughs> idiot ruined everything. <laughs> oh, it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sagonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Bro, he's or missing a him. number on your neck, a cherished memento from the Amber Lord. Holy, <laughs> he <laughs> got ratioed. Give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. Yep. It's my job. I love Dr. Ratio. How would a gambler wrest Penacony back from the IPC otherwise? Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate. Perhaps 
Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. Hmm. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or... Maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. I can't wait to see Firefly and see her role or someone else made the invite in the story. And they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. I dislike this guy. Get to the point. What's your plan? I agree. <laughs> Well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to His eyes are unsettling. <laughs> Damned gambler. <laughs> Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sagonian upbringing? <laughs> then do you trust me? That depends on you. Well, well said, well so said. You don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. What? City. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Uh, I did not mean to offend. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Let's see. Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang. Oh, I love. Oh, I can't wait for that gang to come out too. Them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern. Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now Hi, who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my own again. I, I loved this interaction, that was so funny. This is the dreamscape, the atmosphere here creeps me out. And what was that weird noise just now? Well, where's that chest, man? I I've seen it three times and I, I can't get it. Uh. Note, the impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it and then you shall be granted an audience. Oh my god, that scared me. me. Misha? Over here. Please, come this way. Holy, holy. Oh, here. Hello. Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. This is a temporary interchange. It looks so weird, it yeah. It's a little rundown. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I apologize. You've perhaps read about it in your dreamscape past, but I can explain it. Golden Please. Hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penacony, and its time coincides I knew it was midnight. midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come. And this night of revelry will never end. That's so cool. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities. So don't worry. Okay. Note? Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? No, 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 don't worry. No. It was my mistake. Bro, no, no, I it's not. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. I'm truly sorry. No, 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 it's not that. Oh, you're asking about the referee in the dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. Okay. You just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. Okay. Easy enough. Oh, this looks amazing. Behind this door is the real Penacone. I'm looking forward to it. Something bad's gonna happen. Like the flashbang. Ah, Kiron. Oh. oh. This is so interesting. <laughs> wow. Huh? Huh? Wait, they can see me. 
<laughs> Bro, I wanna do that. Ouch. Oh no. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing to worry about. You've arrived at the dreamscape. It seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Bro, I want to go there. That seems cool. Please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. She smiles and you see ripples shimmering in the depths of her lake green eyes. Okay. Don't worry, just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. Inhale. Exhale. You feel contentment. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> yeah, I feel better. My head kind of hurts from the fall. I merely changed your state of mind. For you to feel more at ease. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. I like her. I don't like him that much. The dream of Panacone is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within Look it. Look at her smile. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Okay, good analogy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> good in the replies. In fact, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Momoria. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. So far, I don't like anybody that much. Compared to our current cast? Like, I, I like Dr. Ratio. He owned Venturine. I like uh, Robin is kind of cool, but Acheron is, uh, is awesome. But then Aventurine is kind of mean and deceitful and evil. And this guy, Mr. Sandy, he talks a lot. He's a bit... Uh, like, he's, he's like Weld, but Weld is cooler. And Robin seems like a version of March in a way. But again, I like March more. The only one that stands out like is Acheron. We can send messages in the dream. Like I feel like our our team is better. Moment of dusk. <laughs> can you please check it out for me, pretty please? It's really fun. I like how they te they text re realistically, you know. The dreamscape sales store. Should I visit it? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Under Jade. This place you can is see. Hustling. There are so many people living in the dreamscape. Yeah, there are. Well, another nurse. This place is enormous. So glad power is awesome. I bet it is. I hope I don't get run over like in the trailer. <laughs> This is so cool, man. Look at this planet. Bro, that's awesome. Oh my god. I can't read any of that. Why not? Why is that not like English? 
What language is that? That's not a real language, is it? There's no way. Oh, look at that pizza slice. Oh my god, it looks so... Oh! I just had a freaking jump scare, man. Jesus Christ. Violet traffic or was it get hit by a vehicle? <laughs> bro, this happened to me in the uh, Bella Box too. Bro, I got hit by a tram. Wait, and it's it scared me. Thing? What? No. A crash? This game has never crashed before for me. Come on. Pentacon, you don't do that. This is our um what we pulled. Oh my god, black swan. Bro, this game has never crashed before for me. I don't remember it crashing ever. I hope I can do the quest. I'm sorry, chat. I don't know what's happening. Why did it crash? Take a rest. It's time for tea and cakes. Ah, uh, Ronnie would would love it here. I think. Nice. According to the map, this is the Dreamscape sales store. Oh, Christmas present. Is that a giant eyeball? Which one? Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, it is. Trailblazers from the astronauts. Welcome to Dreamscape. That's kind of creepy. No. It's me. The Dr. Edward. Is this how we're gonna shop in the future? Oh, it blinks too. Oh no. That's so creepy. He knows a lot. How sure? This dream is a contribution from an anonymous Oh, it is said to contain the memory of the fallen Ian Akivili. I can assure you that this dream. Okay, you've got my attention. It's the magical psychoanalysis, Matt. Well, this guy's a psychic. And rest your forehead oh, no, the hell no. Nah. That's disgusting. Trailblazer from the Astro. <laughs> Pum -pum. What are you doing here? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. Oh, it's not us. It's gotta be Acheron, right? That's so cool. It's like living somebody else's life. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. I wonder what this is. Give this place a thorough cleaning. It can't be Acheron. Oh. At my accomplishment, when I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. And perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit this voice of Akivin. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. Bro, this eye does a lot of things. Who do I want it to be? Well, it must be someone you're close to. Unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. Well, Bro, no way they made this. We can pick whoever. I'll do my best to fulfill Okay, we're gonna have like three choices, but it's so cool you get to pick. Uh, do I go? Let's go to someone else. Oh my god, I have so many. 
Let's go. Himeko. Let's go, Himeko. <laughs> no way, they did this, right? They did all the voice lines in all the voices. Oh, Himeko's gonna be so cool. Listen. God. The whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy crumbly pies. Oh, pies. not the pies. Because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge. I was left starving. Do you plead guilty to this charge? Pom Pom is not happy. The first one is clearly a result of your own doing. But I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. Ahem! Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the what is happening? Your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the express databank. Plants in the parlor car being Oh no. Food lab. No, don't kill the plants. Rest with noise. Oh no, no, no. Oh, that's 10 years in prison. Ah, oh, what an ad. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases. 46. Do you admit to being the 46. <clears throat> No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. <sighs> who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. Okay, that, that is pretty bad. That's all for the content of this dream bubble. <laughs> this dream bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream bubble again, you can purchase it with credits. I'm good. This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Well, are you going to buy it? How, how expensive is it? I'll buy it. One, 100k? Do I buy it? I'm not sure. It's 100k. I'm good. Thank you. Oh, as this is your first time. Thank you. I'm Let's not gonna buy that. Find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. Let's get some more stickers. What stands before you is the golden hour. Pinnacone's pulsating heart. Tell me, what are your first impressions of this city? Hmm. Yeah, I like it so far. Stickers. Ah, no stickers. Wait, what's new? Oh, what is this? Oh, there's multiple boards. Oh, I get it. Let's make them in sync like this. Boom. There we go.
I like that. Actually, I don't know. Oh no. That is not what I meant to do. Like that? That looks good. It kind of blends in with the flower. That, that's fine. She went that way. Get her. What? What's Get who? Going on? What's all the commotion about? Firefly! Oh my God! We see Firefly. Oh my God! I'm gonna love Don't this. Think about running away. You stole away. She's a thief. Oh my God! Her eyes. I love her design already. <laughs> Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Anything. How can I help? Hey, look. She has an accomplice. Excuse me. Ha, good work. Now we can nab them both. Who the hell is this? The the mall police? Ah, you want to fight? Ah, okay. Wait, no, 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 don't auto. That is loud, holy. Ready to lose if you can fight it. Or rock with it. The sound is bugged a little, I think. Or is it just me? Oh, it causes bleed. The soda. But the sound is bugged a little. You see that? I love Firefly so much. That's enough, boys. Who's this? Oh, Gallagher! What a Chad! Look at the hair. <laughs> uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair. Oh, he's like the best. cop. Of the city. He's the officer sent here by the family to maintain order I like that. at the Charmony Festival. I see, sir. The thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway, and that young lady there looks very suspicious. Why? What did she we're do? Sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of it. He's so cool. Yes, sir. They're even dressed like cops. Sorry for all the How undercover can you be? I'm it's okay. here from the Bloodhound family. Bloodhound. Those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. He's got a good voice. Very manly. The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. Yeah, probably. Huh? Oh no, don't, don't be scared. Worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. I hope she's a good character, because I'm going to go for her regardless. <laughs> I need to get going. If Akron and Firefly are my biggest uh, objectives, and their icons, both of them. In this land of dreams. I think I like Firefly more than the Annihilation Gang. Maybe. I am a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Galactic baseballer at your service. Thank you so much. By the way, I've just noticed you're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacone? Everybody knows us. <laughs> you bet! 
The Interastral Peace broadcast recently did a whole segment about your glorious achievements. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? She's got a soothing voice. I'm happy to show you around. I could fall asleep to this voice. The hounds mistook me for a stowaway. I'm actually a local. Good voice and actress. I'm Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. Aww. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Ah, uh, that would be Maybe delightful. If I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Ah, oh, she's so sweet. I like Over her. Here. I can't wait. Idea to get to know about this place. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, look at the kids having fun. Most people head to as soon as they arrive in the dreamscape is the OT mall. The dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. That, that is the ugliest car I have ever have seen in my life. Coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Items purchased in the dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. I like her uh, bandana. Just outside the mall is the her headband. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. Ah, oh, thank you. She likes us, chat. Yeah, we're gonna be friends. What the hell? Oh, that's technique points. That's so cool. Give him a kid's meal. <laughs> I love this. We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes? In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic soul glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today, it's my treat. Okay, some pasta would be good. <laughs> You're welcome. I like her a lot. I like Firefly. Oh, Firefly's budget. Oh my god. Hello, sir. 20k. Oh my god. Which one? Take your pick. Um, Dreamy Cone. Oh, the pizza looks insane. Reduces your damage. Nah, hell no. Nah. Break effect. I'm gonna go for this. There's more chance to what? Select the wrong target. That's interesting. Can I get all of them? Oh, I can. We can actually. I think I'm full now. This is. Are you done ordering? Oh, I feel bad you, now. You have great taste. <laughs> I. I feel I bad. I feel bad now. Oh my god, I've spent all of it. Bro, I love her character design. Look at it. She's so sweet. I like her hair too. It's like white, pinkish into a blue. This is the luxury store I told you about earlier. What the f I actually have eaten, thank you very much. Oh, look, it's a soda and a chest. Let's go, Firefly. Bro, this place looks so awesome. OT Mall. Let's go. Don't get run over. Over here. Follow me. What is that? Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Clocky? Look, that's the statue of Clocky, Penicone's famous cartoon character. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penicone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. 10,000 episodes, what? Um, I 
I guess it's because the animation has a retro style. Like Disney. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Who? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penacony, the founder of the Dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Penacony as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. The true mm, story is a real, symbol. Yeah, it could but be. Everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penacony in droves. Chad, I think I like Firefly even more than Acheron. Eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Her story is not going to be Everyone as deep, but knows this name. she looks cool. I like her. Character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and yeah, that's just my take. I mean, it's my opinion. But I believe the real watchmaker was They're both going to be cool, though. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Yep. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless... Wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? Nope. I see. Let's go somewhere else then. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Help! Help me! Huh? What's that? What? It looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Help! Help me! Pull me out! Help me! <laughs> what is happening? Put them out. What the hell? <laughs> okay, I'll go to the tree. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you say Wait, you didn't see it? Jump. Just What? A bird with sharp edges and points. <laughs> um, I don't think I saw it. That's strange. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop. I it's like her. Stones throw away from you. I like Firefly Light Chat, Origami Bird. Yorigami birds, okay. Turn into feathers. If you see for the birds, make me cry, then please go up and interact with them. The friendly birds will prepare a gift for adventurers who discover them. Some particularly playful birds won't directly admit their failure and require you to peel back their disguise little by little. <laughs> Observe carefully and try many times to figure out the way to capture. I like that minigame actually. It's kinda it's interesting. It's something new. Oh, Can you see the that view. In the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. Look at her feathers. Shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Yeah, it is a nice Look, view. There's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Next, I'll bring you some... If you gaze into the abyss, the abyss gazes also into you. Okay, yeah, that is disappointing. Oh, no, no! You almost died. I don't want to take blame for that. Killing my favorite character. Hell no. Nah. I'll take that. And the popcorn? Caramel popcorn, oh my god. 
What is that? Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. Oh, that looks so this cool. The largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said mm. to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. That's so cool. We got a poster. Known as syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Gambling. Gotcha. One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dream Leaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacony's Dreamscape. Now, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Interesting. Wait, what? What? What was that? That was weird. Let me show you around. That was weird. That was that creeped me out. What just happened? That look on her face. playing themselves with no human performer in Penacony. Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them formed the Sweet Dreams troop to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories, and uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt troop. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. Okay. There's a ride attendant over there. This guy. Hello, sir. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacony. May I get some ID tokens for her? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Here you go. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and token. How many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Pinnacony to. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games here. How generous. Oh, we can gamble. All the tokens. Chad, I once went to to like an arcade with like all sorts of mini games. An amusement facility. Okay. We need valuable rewards. I say we start with the easiest games. The dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward. A gacha inside the gacha. Humongous prize. Give me the humongous prize. Oh, I thought we got it. No, it's not. It's the second prize. Oh. What is it? That's it? <laughs> Bro, come on. No. No. No, why this? That that's actually garbage. Why keep playing this? Taking fireflies so long. Hmm. She's heading toward the bar. Okay, this is awful. This is actually awful. I'm gonna run out of tokens. I don't want to spend all of them here. Can I use them anywhere else? Oh, chest. Where's Firefly? Oh, do I have to use all my tokens? Or oh, let's play Lucky Wheel.
we lost again. What is that? Okay. I don't like this game. Slots, blackjack, anything else? Oh? Oh, shut up. Oh, give me slots. Oh, let's go. Easy. Oh, I thought we got it. The big prize. Almost. Close, but no cigar. Let's go play. The, this one is the best one, I think. I feel like. Let's go. Used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Oh, I thought we got it again. That sucks. I'll take that. Though it's not what I wanted. Did you have fun? Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? I know, right? It's a dream that's loving and forgiving to everyone. Just like the family. It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. I am. At least for now. Uh. Well, what is happening? What is, what's that look? Can you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. That, that's creeping me out. travel here alone? I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not. I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Well, someone's been following you. Who? Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. Ah, oh, perfect smart. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his Who could it be? Build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. Is it Sampo? He looks like a skilled fighter, the covert kind. I it's Sampo. Large palms, yet his you think? Are slender and nimble. Is that Sampo? I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Yeah. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket. Dark blue hair. Eyes, yeah, I knew it. Ah, he's coming our way. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal. <laughs> what are you doing here? Trailblazer girl. It's been such a long time, old friend. This what guy. Coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. His voice sounds different. You're surprised Does it to not? see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped your L06 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? What do you mean, Miss March? The favors I did for you all in Bellabog? Bro, he's tripping this guy. My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer <laughs> from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. You do kind of look alike it's a bit. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of hers. Come on. It's been so long since we last met each other. How can you just walk away? Mr. Sampo, 
What's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which... Old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I don't want to. I'm good. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacony well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown -ups, Wait a second. I think I could do much better. What do you mean? <laughs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow this me guy. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Well, um, Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. Are we going to a strip club? This isn't going to involve anything. All right, gambling, strip clubs, a casino. There's gotta be a casino. Chat. Uh, I think I think we're gonna stop here for for tonight. I don't want to go through. I I've heard the 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 quest is pretty long, so. I mean, it, this seems like just the introduction so far. We've been playing for over an hour. It, just a quest for... How long? For an hour and a half? Just a quest? I don't remember. But it has been a while. And I don't want to play this tired and like just drag myself through it. I want to fully enjoy it. So I'm gonna... We're gonna be back tomorrow. We're gonna finish it tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna finish it, I promise. No matter how long, we're gonna finish it tomorrow. Okay, chat. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Come to the stream tomorrow, see the, the quest. And yeah, I love Firefly so much. She's so cool. I think I like her more than Acheron, I think. I don't know. I, ho I hope she's going to be a good character. Because I'm going to pull for her no matter what. Okay, chat. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. If you're here, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. We got Black Swan. We got Gwyn a little Gui. A couple copies. We got Misha too. Her best idol on E2. I think that's her best idol on, but yeah. I see you tomorrow, chat. I love you. I hope you like Penacony so far, because I do. I'm loving it. It's it's so much fun. Okay, I see you tomorrow, chat. Bye bye. Ron May wishes you a great night. Good night.